This is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk and it's written by Mara Alperin and illustrated by Mark Chambers. Deep in the countryside lived a widow and her son Jack. Their cottage was crumbling and their clothes were all patched. They were very, very poor. One day, Jack's mother said, We must sell our cow. Take her to the market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. <coughs> but before Jack had gone very far, he met a strange little man. It's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you five magic beans for her. Magic beans? said Jack. Are they really magic? Magic they are. I'll chop off my beard and knit it into a jumper, croaked the little man. Magic beans! Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother. He clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Jack's mother was furious. We need money, not useless old beans, she cried, and she threw them out of the window in disgust. But late that night, a tiny bean sprout poked out from the ground. And then it grew, and grew, and grew. The next morning, the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried. But what's at the top? Jack climbed up, 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 up the beanstalk. At last he reached the very top. And there, shimmering in the sunlight, was a magnificent castle. Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. I must find something for breakfast, he thought, and he tapped on the castle door. The door creaked open, and a huge giantess smiled down. Hello, Jack shouted up. Please, do you have any food? You poor thing! boomed the giantess. Come right in, but quickly before the giant gets up. When Jack went in, he was so surprised. What a marvellous feast! There was an enormous loaf of bread and a gigantic jar of jam and Jack took it in at once. But suddenly, the room began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. And quickly, Jack hid under the teacup. Into the room stomped a big, scary, hungry giant. Fee, fa, foo, fum, yelled the giant. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I grind his bones to make my bread. Don't be silly. There's nobody here but us, the giantess scolded. Now go and get washed before breakfast. Jack trembled and shook. I must leave now, he thought. He was halfway down the hall when he heard squawk. It was a hen with bright golden feathers. Help! She clucked. Set me free and I'll lay you golden eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen, but then he heard huge footsteps thundering after them. The fire. Fum, roared the giant. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And there he is. Jack raced out the door. He jumped and slid down the beanstalk, 
down, 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 all the way back to his cottage. Mother, quick, bring the axe, he shouted. Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. Thwack! It shuddered and shook and then the giant came tumbling down. And that was the end of the giant. Jack hugged his mother really tight. Look what I found, he said. And he showed her the golden hen. Oh, Jack, said his mother. I'm just so glad you're safe. And you were right about those magic beans. So Jack, his mother and the golden hen all lived happily ever after. And with lots of golden eggs, they were never poor again. Would you be scared if you met a big giant? I would.